so let us continue um, so um, seventh one is subject ha uh, helping verb not then main verb object and adjective so dear students adjectives normally come before nouns Ramesh is a good boy so boy is the noun and good is the adjective right so um, they are also used predicatively and the adjectives are also used predicatively where uh, they stand alone and uh, qualify the subject so Ramesh is good uh, Ramesh uh, uh, subject then is good is predicate but this in this predicate we have got this word uh, which is standing alone good and uh, good refers to Ramesh so um, then so this is the second use of adjective and then the third use of adjective is and that um, what we are seeing here and uh, so in some cases adjectives are also used after the noun uh, they qualify so the examples we have studied uh, fall into this group but this structure will be very useful while studying adjective um, uh, phrase and clause right and um, so you have to uh, um, be well versed with this structure later on when we will study phrases and clauses which work as one part of speech and uh, then um, um, and if it is working as an adjective uh, then this uh, structure will come handy at the time so eighth um, negatives and uh, so subject helping verb not main verb object and object father does not give uh, Mohan a pen father uh, does not give Mohan a pen right so because we have already done it in affirmative now I hope it is d uh, easy for you to follow in negative as well I uh, did not bring her a present I did not bring her a present so the teacher did not explain me the method the teacher did not explain me the method right now what she did not explain the method who did not explain the teacher these words these questions are important father does not give whom Mohan what a pen so remember these questions as well the teacher did not explain whom who he did not explain me what he did not explain and the method so he did not cook his friends a meal who did not cook um, he did not cook his meals for whom his friends what he did not cook a meal now these questions you can see what who and whom if we put these questions to the main verb whether negative or whether affirmative verb but it should be the finite verb when we put these questions and if we get answer on both sides this is very important then uh, uh, we are having subject we are having object etc so these answer if we get answers to these questions what what are the three questions what who and whom remember these questions uh, in order to find out um, if there are subjects object um, etc so uh, what who and whom is if these questions we ask to the main verb uh, then uh, and if we get the answers okay so let us continue I have not sent the publisher any email I have not sent the publisher any email any email is the object okay so <clears throat> uh, you can uh, observe uh, that there is a uniform pattern while interchanging from affirmative to negative uh, the changes that take place 
while making negatives can uh, very well be learned if you follow the structures then you can learn very well right um, so um, a question for you uh, take uh, one affirmative and one negative sentence from the above sentences and change it into all tenses okay so this brings us to the next uh, 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 sentence pattern uh, and that is interrogative uh, so uh, dear students all the above sentence structures can be reframed uh, to produce uh, interchange to produce interrogatives um, the interrogatives formed are known as inverted questions when we directly form an interrogative from a given affirmative or negative sentence that it is known as inverted questions uh, <clears throat> so let us frame some uh, interrogatives <clears throat> subject uh, verb uh, combination affirmative sentence i play um, then we say do i play so ha helping verb plus subject plus main verb plus question mark so i play uh, do I uh, play? We play. Do we play? You play. Uh, do you uh, play? I hope you know this uh, because we have taken here uh, present um, simple present and, and that's why uh, uh, we are taking here do um, uh, or does we can take if we are taking do that means we can take does where when the subject <coughs> is uh, he plays when s or es is added here uh, he plays then we can say does he play and um, so uh, like that uh, uh, my friend plays um, uh, so uh, <coughs> excuse me uh, my friend plays uh, so does my friend play uh, so like that uh, so uh, the main structure will remain the same uh, helping verb plus subject plus main verb uh, and there can be elaboration of sentence plus a question mark uh, okay so dear students uh, when you are asked to make a question with question word now this is important because you are often you often make mistake here so the uh, first step is to make the above inverted question and then place the question word before the sentence so if you are asked to uh, make in your exam um, interrogative uh, using a question word and the question word is given to you uh, then the first step is the step which we have already seen previously uh, that is uh, to say uh, that you have to use this step uh, do does or any helping verb um, will you play so, um, so like that uh, or would you uh, play with me like that um, or um, is he coming today like that so these are the inverted questions that you have to f form um, by bringing the first um, by bringing the helping verb in the beginning and then followed by subject and then followed by main verb right <coughs> uh, he is playing is he playing um, uh, I have done uh, my work have I done my work so in this way the first step is whenever you are asked to make uh, a sentence using a question word um, uh, a question using a question word then the first step is make inverted questions that could the questions that we have made here these are inverted question so um, he uh, sings example um, uh, you, uh, suppose this example you are given in an exam uh, that in this question uh, he sings make a question with what then what will you do step one is does he sing you will convert it directly into inverted question and he sings it because it is simple present so it will take uh, does because here it is s and so this s will be added here does uh, so does he uh, sing um, so then set step number two is you have you are given this word question word so you have to put it just in front of it what does he sing so in this way it becomes very easy um, to make uh, these uh, question words so we will continue in the uh, uh, next one